Taurus, welcome back for the Divine Masculine update. This is for mid-month for Venus Direct, Mercury Retrograde as of the 16th. If you're new, a very warm welcome. I'm a twin flame. I'm also psychic. If you are needing a booking, the link is below. Other videos will be directly linked. They may be twin flame related videos as well as the previous videos. I'll try and remember to put the folders there. Now, those of you who are new, a very warm welcome. If you wish to join the tribe, we do regular readings on here um, and give support to the Twin Flame Collective. Now, lots of transformations are happening. I'd also like to thank my tribe because they have been here with me for two years and I do love them a lot. Now, let's see what's coming through for you guys. All the others, I had pulled the cards ahead of time, but I'm quite strapped for time. So we're going to multitask. Now, a lot of the frequencies are coming through, obviously, because we were in Venus retrograde. We were reflecting over our journey, over the connection. Be you with them or you're not. There's still a transformation happening, and that is at a collective level. Many of us are looking at our blocks and where we invested, how we're going to move forward. And the frequency of Venus moving direct as of the 16th is going to impact the next 12 to 30 years with particular planets as well. Now, Jupiter will be also moving back into its own sign as well as Uranus. And that's going to create a very interesting frequency. Definitely with the transfer of... Um, that is causing the death of ego. Now, it never dies, but it humbles to a point where if we're operating from a place of ego, we're really directly shown during that transit of what is and what isn't working for us and how we can do that transformation. Now, I am creating a new channel as of 2019. I will still keep this channel up and running, which will have anything... I'm adding extra videos, which is all to do with, um, you know, how to look at your finances, any blocks you have, what's coming up psychically. And I may yet go back to live sessions mid-month. I'll see how I go. As well as the new channel will be a very specific twin flame only channel. And I'm going to try and create the um, toolkits as well as live sessions and for those of you who feel spiritually you can't return to your twin as yet and you're choosing to have a soulmate relationship and you are a twin i'm going to create a very unique set of videos that are completely linked to twin flame slash soulmate relationships because you will forever be a twin and there's a bit of a process to it so i'll still be doing the twin flames via zodiac sign but there will be live sessions and hopefully, as the channel grows, super chat. Let's see what's going on with your raid. Now, past tense frequency, Taurus. If you're a masculine, it might have been frequencies of feeling left out in the cold. And a lot of times what happens to us in our life is our fear-based frequencies, our reality-based frequencies become a reality. When this happens, it's in order for, it's for us to directly look at so <clears throat> we can at times feel it's happening to us but then it can be 3d reasons why and we're really dealing with that aspect of affairs and we're looking back over it that's your past so yes we can say leave the past in the past but there's a reason there's a reason it happened and a reason it's coming through. It might have been due to a previous partner. It might have been children left in the past. It might have been remembering back to the connection you held with your twin. Currently where you are, you're reaping what you sow. That can be for better or worse, a bit like a marriage really. And it is, in theory, a spiritual marriage you hold. To do with something and not being faithful for some of you. Not investing in it correctly or whereby somebody was not faithful towards you. But currently where you stand may be due to an infidel infidelity or due to not really being completely committed to it or not physically and spiritually being ready to be in that connection with your feminine. And again, it's not a judgment. It can just be some blocks that we hold spiritually, 3D reasons why. But again, it can be for some of you where there was a lack of faithfulness in a connection. 
either soulmate or directly with your twin. Now, moving forward, you're wanting the balance. And again, this is a lot of balance frequencies are coming through. And look, I'm not a tarot reader. I'm psychic and intuitively when I hold the cards, when I tune into your energy, I sense things. I, I'm i feeling here most of the cards that have been coming through, especially in collective readings on YouTube, Venus retrograde, the scales, you're wanting a balance moving forward. Now, your feelings are... It's always these noises going on not wanting to commit like you know did you not want to commit is this why it was going on even looking back at the past you might have like been treated unjustly or you didn't feel it was a just position to be within or you ready or that you were ready to give justice to a situation what you are seeing is that in order to move it forward Regardless of what your feelings are, your frequency is telling you that you need to communicate, okay? It might be that your twin is communicating with you or other people are communicating and you're scratching your head about it. But there's an aspect of communication coming through. So you might have somebody moving towards you, giving you some downloads of what's going on with your um, divine feminine. So it can be gossip through the grapevine. Uh but again, it, it, it does feel as though they can be travelling towards you or it's gossip through the grapevine. <clears throat> of maybe them becoming single or of something that's going on in your life where there's room for movement. Okay, what you are wanting to see change is, you know, to be in that frequency of romance, and it might be in a current position you're in or in general, moving forward in general, you want romance. For a reason, you are not feeling open to commitment because you're looking at it as a job over a vibration, okay? A feeling is very different it may be due to the fact that you're working or due to the fact your self-esteem, um, you know, is affected when you're trying to place your passion elsewhere and you don't have the balance, especially with this card. But, you know, you're considering it because you're thinking, do you want to grow old this way? Your intentions are to have a happy life, but you, you're, you're kind of, I'm hearing the term oxymoron. <clears throat> And the reason I'm hearing this is because you're in two minds about it. You know ultimately what you want, which is the happy life, you know, whatever that directly means to you. But at the same time, you know, it comes with responsibility. But the responsibility aspect when two people that are twins grow spiritually and as adults, when we choose that person, that's all it very much is when you've done the work because you're no longer looking at each other like, come on, I need this or I need that. It's directly you're standing in duality within yourselves. But it's this realisation you have having that you do want it, you don't want it, and your intentions are wanting it. But at the same time, your actions are coming across as let's not communicate, let's get straight to the act. And, and that can be problematic, especially if your twin has been left out in the cold. Yeah, not, not talking. Yeah, things haven't been brought together yet, although your action might be like your all systems go or in relation just in the intimate frequency. The reality is some things need to come together and that can be communication, etc. Your possible outcome is by Christmas, a very happy, abundant celebration. Some of you might be going to a party, celebrating a party, birthday party. In relation to contact, you may communicate your truth in relation to how you feel about your twin <clears throat> and what's ended. It might be the ending you're talking about of the breakup of the connection. It could also be just reflecting back on the past for those of you who were twins that are together. Others of you, it can be in relation to everything that ended and died in your life and some things that are transformed most recently. 
but I do feel there's a communication. You may feel in relation to communication you're in two minds and you're still in that aspect of despair due to something that is happening around you, right? Now, how others are influencing you directly, masculine? You know, there might be people that aren't doing the right thing by you. It may be a karmic partner that isn't treating you the way you should be treated. You know, especially the new video I did most recently. I'm recording these earlier than mid-month, but I did a live session on there which was called um, The Wrath of Medusa. You know, and it's by no means saying that masculines don't get hurt. Masculines do get hurt. You can even be portionately in that frequency because we hold both. We hold feminine and masculine, which looking at that term aside, yin and yang, we hold both. So we have the gentle side and we have the very um, I'm going to protect myself side. On the, the more feminine aspect of things is how you would have been hurt in that video, how people would have let you down and betrayed you. And that's really the way feminines have felt left out in the cold and, and, and wanting to believe in dreams. So with yours, you you do feel vulnerable and it can be people around you not respecting you and loving you in the way that you possibly should be. And maybe even your feminine does this to you um, to, because you don't feel worthy to a degree of it. Okay, in movement forward, there might be some delays. And again, Mercury retrograde, that completely makes sense. And that's in relation to how the people around you are influencing you, wanting to get out of this cycle to move away, and there can be some delays due to that factor. Can be in communication, can be in um, transportation, location. Yeah, trying to get away from false people. In your finances, some of you might not be working. It's impacting your self-esteem. Some of you are quite dependent on a karmic energy or a karmic situation. In love, you're loyal to your truth in your scarred path. <clears throat> and you do want to be the soldier for them. Moving forward through your path, you're wanting to bring abundance and fortune to your feminine. How you feel the feminine is directly looking at the past, the present, and the future. They're, in the past, you, you're looking back and you're thinking they were very grounded. Currently, you're feeling they're coming across quite agitated, this might be due to the fact of what happened between the two of you, but they're wanting to be happy. And um, maybe some of you are getting very confused if you're cross watching, you know, if you're a masculine and you're perhaps looking at your feminine's Facebook page or you're hearing through the grapevine, especially with these cards of gossip coming through, messages coming through that aren't from feminine, that are through the grapevine. It might be triggering you a bit where you think she's in her ego, but really she's just raised her vibration. Don't ever take, especially in the twin flame journey, and this is very much for masculines and feminines, everything at face value that it's gospel. And when I say that, it's because what you see and what happens is always two different things. So they can say, I never want to see you again, and you get a phone call. Or it can be, I'm not ready for a commitment, can we date? It's such an oxymoron. And so... Even for a masculine, take things at face value, investigate further. They're wanting teamwork. They want to balance within this connection. And they did directly feel in and out energy and you not committing to the path in some shape or form. This can be also their views of you being a number six, which is can be masculine energy and wanting the transformation. Others influencing them at the moment is... Some people may be supporting them and you do need to be careful because this can be where other people come into the picture, uh, you know, if you're lagging. Now, some of it at a very 3D level does appear that you have financial issues, maybe 3D karmic related issues for some of you, but that doesn't have to stop the communication to this person because it could lose you a road at a temporary level. They're not feeling blessed and they're wanting to feel that frequency. The movement forward will be masculine, okay? You are there in the future. They're wanting you in the future. They're hoping you will come. They're not finding the blessings and having this frequency, unknowingly knowing what's, you know, not knowing what's happening due to a lack of consistency. They're needing to have this forward movement. 
for them at a financial level, they are tired of being the man. They're really falling back into their feminine energy, feeling very vulnerable. In a loving way, they're even isolating themselves at times in hermit mind, away from friendships and connections. And their path forward is it's really affected their perspective on romance. You know, they, they might be looking at very guarded. And it's in general, which is really sad because, you know, especially heart chakra and base chakra. You know, when we feel unhinged, it, it impacts our perspective of connections in general. Or we need touch and connection to feel, to feel, um, it actually raises the frequency of health. So to go into hermit mode at a regular basis, even from a friendship level, to communicate it with support. Love and light.